How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. Today I'm going to review this small sit-stand desk by MPE Tap T that is sold on Amazon. Currently it goes for $141 for this particular color. I was not able to find assembly instructions but it was easy enough to try and figure out. The table surface, it feels smooth and I really like how the edge is not very sharp so you can put your hand on it and it's not going to cut you or it feels uncomfortable. It's relatively smooth all the way around. And I kind of like how this desk does not require you to plug it in. It just requires this pneumatic thing. You just pull this lever over here and it goes up. But there are downsides to this because I feel like this desk does not go low enough for my requirements. For this particular chair, I would like my elbows to be right where the table surface should be which means I want this table a little lower, like two inches lower to be very ergonomic. So if you're a taller type of person, this would work perfectly for you. And I'd say the little ledge on the bottom, it's really nice so that you can just put your feet on it like this. You might have a question on if this is powerful enough to lift stuff on the desktop. I can put some weight on it and it won't be able to go up anymore. Like. This is about 10, 15 pounds of pressure or something that I have to push down. So if you have anything a lot heavier, it might not be able to go up. So this desk, I'd say you have to not put very much on it. It's not that big a desk surface anyway. So you're gonna only just basically put your laptop here and you're gonna work. It's kind of like if you're at a coffee shop and you have your own little personal space and this is all you get. You can put like a drink here you can put like maybe a notebook and your laptop. Basically that's it, nothing else. So let's check it out when it's actually in the standing mode. Like that. You might wonder about the stability of this thing. Well, I am on carpet right now, so it just kind of wobbles around because it's not a hard surface underneath. So let's move this onto a harder surface to test this out. So let me wobble this around. It seems pretty rigid by itself. It seems to wobble maybe like a quarter inch if you really put pressure on either side. I'm gonna lock the bottom wheels. The wobble is about the same, but then now I just can't push it anywhere. You can still force it and kind of drag it along. This is great if you are like trying to do something in some corner or something of the living room. So overall, I like the surface of this desk. It feels smooth. It goes up and down reasonably well. And I think it's probably a good option if you don't have much space. If you guys are interested in this product, check out my Amazon affiliate link down in the video description below. Now I'm gonna cut to where I open up this box so you can see how they package it and also how it's assembled together. This little piece fell out of place. I think it was supposed to be inside here. The bottom foot, the post, you got the wheels over here. So some assembly required. Let's put on the wheels. This needs a little bit of tightening over here. This is up, but it's unclear up relative to what. If you put the center thing here and you install this on top, you want to put the screws here and it's recess because you don't want it to interfere with the bottom of the desktop. So I'm gonna put it in like this. I like how this Allen wrench has a pretty big handle up here. Now the cable, we probably wanna orient it this way. Like that maybe, or maybe like this. This seems a more natural flow for this cable here. We need eight more, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and two more for this guy, one extra screw. Okay, now we put this on. Comes with four screws, but you only need three. I'm hoping this guy will turn after I install it on like that. Does it turn? Oh no, it doesn't. So the arrow is here, it's supposed to be here, but you can't really just 
turn it. I gotta remove the screws, turn it, and then we can do it. I gotta turn, so now the arrow is what would be the back of the desk. We got the arrow here, attach. Now the screw holes line up. There's some tensioning in the washers to hold the screws in place. Flip the whole thing over. It turns out there are two wheels that are different, which has a locking mechanism. If you pull it up, then you can freely roll it around. There's another one over here, right? I gotta pull it up and then now you can roll this guy whichever way you want. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to give me a like and subscribe for more.